Hello all, welcome to my YouTube channel. So before we get into this video, I just want to remind you that this video is a continuation video of auto ML series. So if you haven't watched my uh, previous video on auto NLP, please do go and watch it and I will provide the link in the description. So let's just get started. So in this video, I'm going to be building automated machine learning model on classification problem. So for this, I'm going to be using auto VML tool. So let's just pip install auto VML tool first. So let's just do it. So this is this is getting installed and let's let's import few of the libraries of uh, NumPy, Pandas and Seaborn for our analysis. So let's just do it. Now we'll use a Pandas Z Nesco CSV uh, function for importing our data set from our drive. So let's just do it and let's just print the few of the lines from a data set. And this data set consists about the information about the particular employee of, uh, of a particular company and it has got the information about the employees. So the and it is based on the satisfactory level, the number of projects the particular employee has worked, worked on and average uh, monthly hours time and how much time uh, the, the particular uh, employee has spent uh, at a company in months and whether he has left the company or not and how many promotions he has got in last five years and which department he was he or she was working and what was the salary uh, he he or she has like in in which uh, salary column it it for it uh, she or he or she falls like low medium or high so for this uh, classification problem, we need to use this information of, uh, of the employees and predict the salary of the uh, particular employee. So for this, we're going to be using auto VML tool for building the model. And before uh, building the model, let's just check the balance and the imbalance of the data set. So we're going to be using uh, a Seaborn count plot function uh, to check upon the balance and the imbalance of the data set. And so uh, let's just do it. Uh, by 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 using uh, seaborn uh, count plot function on the target variable to uh, to check the balance and the imbalance of data set so, so as we can see that the employees which are getting high salary are less in number and the employees which are getting uh, low and medium salary are just uh, more than uh, the employees getting higher salary so this is the uh, this is an example of multi classification problem with imbalance. So let's see how this auto VML tool gonna handle this. So for this, let's just import the uh, auto VML function from auto VML uh, library. And let's just uh, split the data set into train and test. And let's just do it. And we, we have used the, the 80% and 20% rule to uh, split the data set. Now, now after splitting data set, uh, we'll, we'll see some uh, important parameters inside the auto VML function, uh, which we're going to be using for this model, for building this model. So in this auto VML function, we have a train uh, a parameter, which is going to be taking uh, the train data set, which we have split. And uh, we will we'll, we'll take the test parameter, uh, and it consists of the test data set, uh, which we have split. And uh, we're going to be using this target uh, parameter uh, to specify the, uh, the name of that particular target column. So in this in this uh, uh, data set, uh, we have salary uh, column as our uh, target column. So we're going to be uh, naming our target parameter as salary. So uh, we're going to be using this target parameter and set it to uh, salary. Our next parameter is uh, hyper underscore param. So this parameter helps us to hyper tune the parameters. Uh, and in this uh, uh, library, in this tool, auto VML uh, function, we're going to be using a grid search CSV for our uh, tuning the parameters. We can also use randomized search CV for our uh, hyper parameter tuning. And the next parameter is feature reduction so if uh, it is set to true that means if the if that particular uh, feature is not important to the uh, for, to, to build to build the model uh, it will just remove it 
and it will not consider that particular uh, feature and if you set it to false it will just take all the features uh, in inside the data set and it will just build a, that model using those features so right now i have set this parameter as true to remove the non significant features from the data set so the next parameter is scoring underscore parameter so this parameter help us to uh, evaluate the model like on which metrics you gonna you know evaluate the mod model so right now i am using weighted f1 score for evaluating the model you can also use roc auc auc parameter or precision recall uh, so so for uh, for evaluating the model uh, the next parameter, the next two parameters, the boosting flag and the imbalance flag are the most important parameters in this auto VML function. So let's just see what it has. So in this uh, 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 auto auto VML function, uh, this boosting underscore flag uh, has uh, uh, has three three types of uh, input it can take like none, false, and true. So this boosting flag. Uh, if it is set to none then it will build a linear model and if it is set to false then it will build a random forest or any tree based models and if you set it to true so it will build an exiboost model so this uh, so these parameters help us to build the what kind of model you want to build like a linear model a bagging model or a boosting model so this this uh, parameter help us to uh, set such kind of uh, things for uh, building a bagging boosting or linear model so right now i have i have set it to false for building a bagging model that that means it will use a random forest or any kind of uh, uh, models and it will also build a assembled model of a variety of uh, the models uh, by taking a variety of models so uh, like this this parameter helps us so if you set it to true it will start using the xg boost model so now the next parameter is imbalance underscore flag. So this parameters is very helpful when you have imbalanced data set in your in your data set. So when when the data set is imbalanced, you want to make it to balance. So we can do it by uh, doing oversampling or undersampling techniques. So uh, right now, if we if you set the balance underscore flag is equal to true, so it it what it will do it it will use a smart analysis uh, at the back end and it will just generate a synthetic data set over the uh, over the data set and it will uh, will it and it will balance the data set. So like this, uh, this model will help you to balance the data, which is imbalanced right now. And, and the next parameter is verbose, which will help us to print the what the analysis is getting uh, behind the scene. So, so let's just run it. And after running, uh, we'll see that this, uh, we'll see the analysis, what the auto VML has done. So this is the uh, analysis what the VML, uh, v auto VML has done and it has uh, it has done the uh, balancing of the data set. It has uh, it has checked the what is the information of the data set like what uh, whether how many numeric columns, how many how many category columns, how many uh, uh, Boolean columns. So likewise, it, it has prepared the data and preparing our data set uh, and it has also taken care of the uh, missing value also and and if you don't have missing value missing value it it won't it won't consider it and if you have missing value it will does it for you and uh, if you have if if you have any kind of uh, uh, category column so it will turn into encoding it will do the encoding for you and it will also fill the missing value in the train and test data so uh, the one thing this model which it can't do is 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 feature engineering so uh, this feature engineering is always a key to the models feature engineering is is that uh, uh, section where the domain knowledge of that particular data set comes into play so this uh, this auto uh, auto ml models uh, can't do the feature engineering part for you so these things should be done by you before itself then you can give this uh, uh, data set to the auto ML model to print the better and you can use it for the production purpose also. So, but uh, so now you can use this model when when you have done the feature engineering part, but this model automated machine learning models uh, gives a better pipeline just uh, to uh, prepare the data set to select their features and to uh, evaluate the model and to prepare the better model over it. 
So this is what uh, the automatic models or machine learning models help us to do. So only thing is it, that only demerit it has is uh, that you have to uh, prepare the uh, feature engineering from your side and then you have to give it to the AutoML model. So it will help you in that manner. Uh, the rest of the things it will take care by the AutoML uh, models. So, uh, so what it has done is it has prepared the data. It has it has done the missing value analysis. It has uh, done the encoding of the category variables, and it has uh, selected the few parameters, and it has started doing the analysis on the model, and it has started using the uh, uh, algorithms over the data set. So uh, this is what it has done, and it has also printed uh, some uh, some uh, predictions of the uh, assembled models. Like it has used nay bias lean underscore C, C, uh, SVC. It has used the uh, discriminant model. It has used one versus risk classifier, and it has applied plenty of the models over the data set. And it has it is printing the analysis over uh, the uh, heat map, and it has also printed the ROC curve for different different kind of uh, models. And it has also printed the precision recall curve. So th this this information is very very important when you build a classification model to take care of the balance and imbalance data set and and to take care of the threshold values. And so these informations is uh, is is been taken care automatically behind the scenes. You don't you don't have to uh, manually do it uh, by writing the codes. So this is what the information uh, it, it has been printing right now the ROC curve the uh, heat map uh, and the uh, precision recall curve also. So you can see the further uh, uh, classification report also uh, for the particular model assembled model uh, for the particular assembled models. Yeah. So this training and uh, validation test uh, parameters also been trained like what is the mean tra train score and mean test score and uh, this all been taken care of. so you can see it very clearly and it it is it is done very very perfectly also so now uh, now you can see here is that it has applied a smart using a smart uh, analysis it has over sampled the data and it has started building the model so this this can be visualized also uh, so before before uh, building uh, before applying a smart analysis over the data set uh, you can see the visualization of the uh, classes over the target column and a smart analysis you can see the distribution of the uh, uh, target column so uh, before that it was imbalanced now after uh, applying the smart analysis it is now balanced and uh, this uh, this uh, this is the chart for the feature of importance like the, uh, the important features what is the relevancy of the features over the target column it it is just uh, checking over it and it is it is just printing the importance of the uh, particular column over the uh, target column so this is what uh, this is uh, this is the uh, analysis what uh, the auto viml has done automatically which you have to do it by manually so this is a this is a very good uh, library which you can have a hands on it and you can uh, you can see the documentation also i will provide the documentation in the link you can just go and check it out the the documentation of auto viml it is it is very well explained and you can just uh, get through through it and you can just uh, uh, do it by yourself also uh, and the, so let's just uh, see what does the output of auto viml contains this auto auto viml uh, function will uh, will output put four of the terms like model features train m train test m so this train m and test m is nothing but uh, train matrix and test matrix. So this test. So let's just print first test matrix. So this test matrix consists of the uh, the uh, the predictions of the models, uh, predictions from the models, different different predictions from the models like uh, the the salary column uh, prediction from linear discriminant model, from SVC models, from Nays by model, from one versus risk classification model, from forest uh, prediction models, from ensemble prediction. Models. So these so test uh, test matrix consists of the prediction from different different models so now you can use this uh, 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 this predictions and you can prepare a classification report also by using escalon uh, matrix and you can uh, print the classification uh, report uh, of, for different different kinds of models so right now i'm i'm printing uh, the classification report uh, by by nave based model and uh, uh, we will we, we'll see uh, 
uh, that how how the uh, classification report is so uh, we will we'll import the test uh, data set uh, test data set and we will use the test data set original test data set and it will use the uh, uh, original uh, salary uh, target and we will use the printed salary uh, target from the uh, nave bias from the from the name bias model so this is what it has done and similarly we can use uh, for the forest, uh, forest classification uh, model and we and similarly we can use it for the assemble uh, model also so this is what you can do with this model and and it has uh, uh, measured merits also and uh, the merits is like it, it it will prepare the automated pipeline for you and it will just do the uh, uh, the steps whatever you were doing by the by by yourself so and the only demerit it has is you have to prepare the feature engineering part part from your side so this autom autom automated machine learning models has only one disadvantage of uh, of not preparing a feature engineering of not doing feature engineering so after doing feature engineering you can take the uh, data set and and put into this and give it to this model automated model and you can just prepare the uh, the better pipelines and you can check the hyper parameters also and tune it also automatically and prepare the best mo model out of it so this is all about this video and i and i hope you will you have enjoyed this video and uh, you have liked this video content so uh, so this is all about this video thank you